Hi, I'm Daniel with Farnelli and DK. We are from tech65.org and we're right here at Samsung Singapore's office taking an exclusive first look at the Samsung Bada operating system as well as their flagship device uh, from the Mobile World Conference in Barcelona. This is called the Samsung Wave. And we'll just play uh, the, the, new, the new song. Okay, so that is the, actually the music player. Now, since we're here right now, let's show you a little bit of how the multitasking works. So you just basically press and hold this screen, right? You'll be able to quit applications as well to switch them. So we can go back to our SMS right here, or we can, uh, you know, quit the messaging application. Nope. All right, go back to the music player. All right. So, but the thing is that to quit an application, you, this is, so far this is the only way we've discovered to to quit an application. Uh, I don't know why the music is still playing even after I quit the application. Oh, this is still the effect. So let's see about whether uh, controls. Are you able to control the music? Um, appears yes, even though the screen is locked, you can still control the music from the outside um, through a little uh, navigation thing here. So, uh, you know, you can just do that. Or you can just unlock the device, go to back to the music player, and pause the music. Okay? So, once again, you can go here and switch off the music player, go back to the home screen. And uh, some really quick, quickly look through the application. There's Microsoft Exchange support as well as uh, these Google, uh, Gmail, and Hotmail as well as Yahoo Mail. Now Samsung will actually be uh, working with. They actually are going to be working with uh, 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 their own uh, provider. And what they're going to be able to do is that they're going to allow push email for pop services. All right, um, specific pop services. So in Singapore, for example, you might be able to get things, maybe say Singnet or Kuala, or if you're an SMU or an NUS, you, you might be able to get all these services in the future pushed to you uh, through uh, Samsung's own provider, right? So, uh, which is quite cool. Um, they also have something they call the social hub, right? So basically, you know, you will sync all your contacts, your the usual stuff that you find in today's smartphones, like just like the um, what do you call it, the Moto Blur, mm. the uh, HTC Sense. You know, the same thing where they pull in information, they'll synchronize your From contacts, your Facebook, yeah, your messages, your statuses. You know, and you know, if there's calendar, they'll sync in your calendar as well. From your various social networking services, the application is not in the phone right now, so we can't really show you. But you know, all, all these things are all there. In fact, we show you the contacts right now. You can take a look at, uh, let's see, for example, let's look for, for DK, which is, should be under Kang. All right, so under activities, you can actually link a contact. Uh, right now, like I mentioned, this is uh, alpha, so it doesn't look proper, but you know, you will be able to link the merge contacts together, right? And you can see that you will be able to see the history and media and all that kind of stuff, information regarding this person, okay? So uh, this, this is what they call a social hub, which will be inside there. Um, now, for in terms of, uh, of, of software, there's also the uh, media browser as well, right? Which you can use to, to view photos. Okay, there's so multi -touch. Uh, there is multi-touch, so you can actually you know uh, zoom in and all that kind of stuff. So um, you know you can also just do your usual flicking, and you know it will be able to see a very fancy. The display is just beautiful. Uh, you can see that it, you have to be here to actually see the display. Um, the the AMOLED stuff is really amazing. Um, I mean the video playback as well. Let's show you a video. Hopefully this is safe to watch. Why do you find the the track trailer? Yeah, so you can see this. It's actually able to play uh, video in, in quite a high quality. You know, if the resolution is high enough, you can actually get a very good experience in watching video uh, on this device itself. Um, so yes, back. All right. So th this is uh, pretty much the, the media browser. Um, what are the things that you can show you? The camera. the camera. Yes, the camera. So let's take a look at that. So it does both video as well as photo. Obviously, you know, if it doesn't do so, I think there's something wrong. There's something wrong. Um, so what you can actually do is that um, for video, it's actually capable of doing a 720p. Sorry, so let me just go you, show you. The resolution can go up to uh, 720p. Okay, uh, and then, you know, guidelines, you can turn on guidelines, turn on audio recording. It's your usual Samsung uh, camera software. Okay, so you can go back to the camera mode and uh, um, it, with it, along with the LED flash and all that. So it's actually quite a good, so far the camera is pretty amazing. Uh, you know, you can turn on autofocus, you can switch to macro. Uh, 
so you basically, you know, all, all the usual stuff that you'll be able to find in a Samsung phone today, in terms of camera, you'll be able to find it in, in this particular device, which is kind of cool. All right, so we've run a few applications already, so I'm just going to press and hold the task uh, manager, and you can see that uh, some of the applications are still running in the background right here. So uh, this is one thing that we realized that it doesn't, not all applications automatically quit. All right, uh, so hmm. far. But then again, this is it. Once again, this is an alpha device. Uh, there's DLNA support in this device. There's DivX support as well. So you will watch DivX uh, uh, things. Yeah. So let's talk about uh, now in the web browser. This is a Dolphin web browser. We don't know whether it's this WebKit. Uh, like we said, we couldn't get internet access for this uh, pre-production unit. Right. So we cannot test it. We cannot test whether there's flash. But it's going to be similar as the one you find on the Samsung Jet. Yeah, on uh, the Samsung Jet. To zoom in, just press hold and drag up and down uh, to zoom in. And down. Yeah. So you know, we, we can't test it out. So we can't see how. We can't see how fast you know the 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 thing is gonna be. So here you have the, the calendar application. So once again, all the tilting. There's only day and month view. Um, let's see uh, my files. There's one application that's pretty cool. There's a navigation software. All right. Um, this will be depending on market. Some markets will have it. Some markets will not. Um, so we also discovered this uh, uh, my accounts application where you can actually just link it with. Uh, this is where you can be able to link it to your social networking. So you can see Twitter, Facebook, and MySpace, uh, and you'll be able to pull all this information in. All right. Right. Um, another other interesting things that we also discovered will be uh, this one, the system manager software. So we will show you the battery information, uh, the CPU information, applications that are currently running, application manager, manager. Uh, storage. You know, they will tell you all the information regarding the storage, and it's it's a dedicated application. It's on its own. Um, other things that are interesting is something that we also discovered. If you go into the settings, go under connectivity. All right, you actually find this thing called mo mobile AP. So if you actually turn it on, um, it, we are not sure what actually it will actually be doing, but we have a feeling this is actually uh, tethering, Wi-Fi tethering. It, we, we don't know what, how, it, how it works. We don't know what, what is the source of the internet. We don't know whether does it broadcast out by Bluetooth, by USB, or by Wi-Fi, but we know that mobile access point is a feature found within the setting screens as well. All right, so once again, the mass storage here, there's a TV out. So if you plug in the correct cable into 3.5 millimeter jack, you will get TV out. All right, so um, that is uh, pretty much the, the, the some of the things that you can probably see from the software side of of the, the, this particular device. Let's talk about the, the software devel development kit right now. Okay, the, For beginning, we've been told this, that uh, for a start, the SDK will be only be open to uh, selected people. All right? But it, by the end of February, the BADA software development kit should be open to the public. All right? uh, the programming language that's going to be uh, developers will use to develop applications is C++, right. and it will use uh, Eclipse as an IDE. Um, now the following information is not really confirmed, but uh, so but there's a possibility that you'll see Game Loft as well as Electronic Arts developing applications for the Bada software, uh, Bada operating system. Uh, OpenGL support we do not know about it as well. We asked them and they're not very they're, the the people do not have the information <coughs> with regards to OpenGL support. We and check the dev forums though, what they say about that. Um, still all they, they're about still asking about it. There was no nobody has answered. Even if you search online, we haven't been able to find any definite answer. Mm -hmm. uh, you need to pay to get your application to register your application on the store itself, mm -hmm. and uh, the uh, the distribution is the same. You, the the developer will get seventy percent. Samsung will get thirty percent. All right, and um, you know the paying for the applications will be from uh, using a credit card straight to Samsung. So this is a software provider independent. Right, so it doesn't matter which service provider. Sorry, it's not software provider. Service provider independent. So you can be on any service provider, right? Uh, and you know you can just use the same account to pay and to purchase your applications. Mm -hmm. um, so that is pretty much we have to share with regards to the Samsung Wave, as well as the Samsung Bada operating system. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to throw them into the comments on the YouTube page or send us an email. Uh, we really do not know whether we can answer your question, but uh, we will try. Okay, so that's it. We hope that uh, you enjoyed this. I am Daniel with I'm Farinelli <laughs> and DK. <laughs> and we're from uh, tech65.org. See you guys soon. Bye. Bye.